The Pentagon has invented a new microchip which detects COVID-19 in your body. Should you be concerned? Well, I'm pretty sure Ben Swan is, and he will join us to discuss. The FDA is now recommending pausing the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine after seven cases of blood clots have recently come to fruition following vaccination, including one death. Now, this is being seen as a major blow, as more than 7 million Johnson & Johnson vaccinations have been administered. But why the, why the caution over this now? Well, this is the Pentagon has developed a chip which can detect the COVID-19 virus in your body once implanted. Could the implant be the next thing the public could be shamed into getting? Well, with all of these details regarding the two stories, we bring in investigative journalist Ben Swan. I want to move on to the microchip, which senses COVID-19 in your body before symptoms and filters the virus from the blood before. It's being developed by the Pentagon. Um, your thoughts on this? Yeah, so, um, you know, all the conspiracy theorists out there, right, who went around saying, hey, they're, they're creating this microchip and it's going to be inserted uh, into your body. It's going to come with the vaccine. And, every, and all these folks in the media were like, oh, you people are crazy. There's no microchip. Then the Pentagon comes out and says, hey, actually, we have a microchip. So here's what's fascinating about this. And I actually am releasing a, a podcast about this today that's pretty lengthy in detail. But what's important is that the, the government agency, DARPA, right, that does these defense advanced research projects is the one that actually developed this particular uh, microchip that they say, oh, it won't track you. And it, all it's going to do is tell you if you have COVID symptoms. Well, guess what? My body can also tell me if I have COVID symptoms. So why would I need a microchip inserted under my skin in order to tell me whether or not I feel the symptoms of, of COVID? It's, it's bizarre in that respect. But it's also important to note that DARPA, that same organization, is the same one that was funding gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Virology Lab for the last 10 years, especially since 2014. So the fact that they now want to come out and say, we're going to create a microchip that you can put under your skin, it will tell you whether or not you have COVID. Scotty, do you really trust that that's what this is for? I mean, the fact that this has even been created in the first place, it doesn't even, there doesn't seem to be a point to it to tell you that you have COVID. I think that's what scares me the most about this. It's like you were working on a chip to go into people's skin. By the way, it's coming from the Pentagon. It's not coming from a private medical firm. And I think that's, that's where right. my concern really is this one. So here's my question. The, the Look into your, your future crystal ball, as I've so often asked yeah. you, Ben. If this shows to actually be accurate and it can predict it, do you think we could see a push that everybody, just like what we've seen with the mask, the vaccine, a push that you actually have to be microchipped with something from the Pentagon? Could that actually happen?